Okay guys, so kind of awkward position. I'm using my phone again to record this video. Um, this is going to be my old wives tales video. I've gotten a list that I've gotten from the internet and a couple of other videos that I've watched about old wives tales. So we'll see who wins, girl or boy, and I'm really hoping it's a girl. So we'll just see how accurate it is. And I've been trying all week to film this video for you guys, but my husband, my fiance, you know, couples time, you know, we need a time to do each other. And then I've been running around doing errands and doing stuff with Jackie and uh, I've been having doctor's appointments. So um, hopefully he doesn't come in here and interrupt this video because I swear to God, I'm going to throw the phone at him if he does. Ugh. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, okay, so the first wives tale is if the baby's heartbeat is above 140, it's a girl. And if it's below 140, it's a boy. So it has been above 140. Uh, the first time that I went, it was 147. And then the second time that I went and heard the heartbeat, it was 147 again. And then two days ago, I went and heard the heartbeat, and it was 157. So that's above 140. So I'm going to do one tally for the girl. Oops, my pen doesn't want to write now. Okay, so that's the first tally mark for girl. Um, okay, number two is if you're carrying high and big, it's a girl. If you're carrying a low with a smaller belly, it's a boy. I think I've been carrying very, very high. Um, I don't, I kind of, when I first got pregnant, I kind of felt like I was carrying a little bit low. But um, now that I've gotten, you know, four and a half months now, I do feel like I'm carrying a lot higher than I've been, so that's another point for the girl. And I still have hips now, actually. Um, like, I still, like, have that curve shape to my hips. <laughs> Anyways, um, third one, if you have acne while pregnant, it's a girl. If not, then it's a boy. Um, I've had acne since I was 11 years old, and I've never been able to get rid of it because one I'm allergic to benzoyl peroxide which that that's like the one of the most main ingredients in acne medication so I gotta watch what I use um but I've been I've never been able to get rid of my acne completely uh last couple of weeks I had a really big monster pimple on my nose and I I'm starting to get one right here and I have one really bad right here and I think I'm getting one right here somewhere. So I guess I've had some acne. Most of most of my stuff is just like scarring. So um, I've definitely had a little bit of breakout. So I'm gonna mark another one for the girl. So that's three points for girl, zero points for boy. Um, okay, four. If you're craving salty foods, count on having a boy. If you're craving sweets, it'll be a girl. Um, I've had some chocolate cravings lately, but. I would say 95% of my pregnancy I've been craving salty foods. So um, I guess you would consider uh, fast foods a salty food. Yeah, because I, I crave french fries. I, okay. I crave curly fries. I crave carne asada fries. <laughs> I crave pizza. Um, all that junk food that's pretty salty I crave. So that's that's one point for the boy. Okay, so it's three to one. Third one. Um, number five, if you're really moody, it's a girl. If you're more happy, it's a boy. Okay, um, I'm an emotionally moody person naturally already as it is. Um, lately, I've been a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> I've been a little bit more uh, moody, I guess, kind of emotional. For example, like everything pisses me off. I have no patience today. Um, everyone just pisses me off. Like the littlest thing. I could go from really happy to really emotional. So uh, that would be for a girl. But then I've been really happy. I've, hmm, yeah, I, I've been happy. But it's ah, I'm gonna say I've been more moody than happy. So that's another point for the girl and I'm, I'm not just doing this because uh 
I wanted to come out a girl. I really have been moody more than I've been happy. Like, happy, happy, joy, joy. So, four to one. I hope you guys can see this. Yeah, you guys can see it. Okay, so four to one. Um, okay, number six, the Chinese gender chart. Um, okay, so it's from the age that you conceived and the month that you conceived your baby. So, I'm 21. I conceived in June. And the chart that I went that I went and looked at, it came out as a girl. So that's five points for the girl. I hope this is really accurate. So, okay, so this, excuse me, sorry to say, um, five to one. Um, number eight, okay. If you dream that you're having a boy, means you're having a girl. If you dream you're having a girl, means you're having a boy. So it does the opposite, I think. Yeah, it does the opposite. So I've, okay, when I first got pregnant, I dreamt twice that I was having twin boys. And I haven't had any girl dreams at all. Yeah, none at all. Um, yeah, so I've had two boy dreams. So another point for the girl, right? Yeah, girl. So it's six to one. Um, number nine, if you're graceful, it means you're having a girl. If you're clumsy, it means you're having a boy. <sighs> I'm kind of clumsy, but then I'm more graceful. I don't know, like, I, I, I walk pretty well. Sometimes I feel like I'm waddling, but that's just because I'm getting bigger. So I would say graceful, because I'm not, like, running into everything all the time. I'm not spilling anything. I'm not making messes on purpose. Or not on purpose, but you know what I mean. So, that's another point for the girl. Now it's 7 to 1. Boys are going to be really outplayed at the end of this. I have a feeling. Okay, number 10. If you sleep on your left side, it's a boy. If you sleep on your right side, it's a girl. Even before I got pregnant, I've always slept on my right side first like when I first lay down to go to sleep I'll stay on my right side until like in the middle of the night and then I get tired of that so I'm like back and forth but it's more so on my right side yeah wow that's another tally for the girl so huh eight to one. Oh, boy only has one little tally mark Okay, uh, number 11, if dad, if the father of the baby gains weight, you can count on a girl. If not, you can count on a little boy. Mm, he has actually lost some weight in the past couple weeks. I don't know if that's because he's he's gotten a more um, physically demanding job where he's more physical with what he does. Um, but he has been losing a lot of weight. So, he hasn't been getting anyway. So, that's another point for the boy. Okay, so, 8 to 2. Okay, and uh, number 12. What do you think? 90, 90. I can't talk for shit today. What do you think? 71% of the time, the mom knows what she's having. And most of the time, she's right. Well, like I said before in my previous videos, I think I'm having a girl girl power. Um, I love little girls ever since I was seven years old. I know that sounds kind of weird to some of you guys, but I've always counted on my firstborn being a girl. So that's another point for the girl. Okay, nine to two. Um, number 13 is uh, if you haven't had any morning sickness, it's a boy. If you've had a lot of morning sickness, it means the girl. Okay, um, the whole first three months of my pregnancy, I was miserably sick, but, um, I was, I never once threw up in, in, in this pregnancy. I've been extremely, unbearably nauseous, but I never threw up. I was, I came close to it like twice and I held it back. And I think I explained this to you guys before. I'm actually scared to throw up. Because one time when I was drunk, I actually choked on my vomit. And it was very hard for me to catch my breath again. So, um, 
I've been scared to throw up ever since. So I, I kind of held it back, but I was like really, really close to throwing up. So that's another point <laughs> for the girl. Okay, so it's 10 to 2. 10 versus 2 points. Um, okay, this is a little TMI. 14. Dark nipples. If you have darker nipples during pregnancy, it's a boy. If you've had normal nipples like you've had before pregnancy, it's a girl. My nipples have been extremely dark and they keep getting darker and darker and darker. So, it's a boy. Oh, okay. That means boy. So, 3 to 10. Um, number 15, cold feet. If your feet are cold, it's a boy. If you have regular temperature feet, it's a girl. I haven't noticed my feet being cold at all. It's more my arms when I'm cold. So, that's another point for the girl. Look how much that is for the girl. That's crazy. Actually, you know, my <laughs> my fiance Hulu, he doesn't even believe in wives tales, but we will see how accurate this is. Okay, number 16, if you've had a lot of headaches, it's a boy. If you haven't had any te headaches, it's a girl. Oh my god, I've been covered in headaches, like head to toe headaches. <laughs> um I've had headaches since I was like 13 years old, but it's been a lot more so now. Um You've heard me mention that in my previous video, so that would definitely be a point for the boy. Okay, so 4 to 11. And the last one, number 17, is if you have bright yellow pee, it's a boy. If you have dull yellow pee, it's a girl. Um, the last three times that I've gone to the doctors, they've had me pee in a cup. Also, when I went for my blood test, they had me pee in a cup. And every single time, it's been like a golden bright yellow so that's one last point for the boy and looky there 11 to 5 that's awesome well we will see how accurate this is tomorrow i find out the gender tomorrow i'm so excited i cannot stand the anticipation it's crazy i finally get to know what it is that i've been carrying these last four and a half months and um we're gonna have a really big gender reveal and uh it's gonna be really cool so stay tuned for that um gender reveal will be posted tomorrow so keep updated on that um yeah it's awesome it's so exciting and it's it's kind of cool the way i'm going to be doing the gender reveal um i'm going to go to the ultrasound tomorrow and i'm going to have the nurse write it down what it is in an envelope and give it to my mom so she's the first person who's going to know. I'm not going to know until later. So she's going to go get a box and either pink or blue balloons and put it in the box. And so when Julio gets off of work, then me, Julio, and my grandma will all three open it and we will see what it is. So I'm um, really hoping it's a girl. <laughs> but even if it's a boy, as long as he or she's healthy, then we are happy. So, but yeah. Take a good look at this, see if it's accurate, and uh, after my gender reveal, we'll compare and we'll see which one it is. Anyways, thanks for watching it and stay tuned. Definitely watch my gender reveal tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.